The Privilege of Geography, How to Rebuild After the Riots. Hello, everybody. After my last post, I started thinking that um, it was a little bit more pessimistic than I normally post. It was being honest, uh, but I, did, I didn't just want to like leave that out there as uh, some type of absolutist, pessimistic type of thing. I think we can do better than that. Uh, or I think I can do better than that. So today's uh, post is about, I guess it is, how you rebuild. Say you find yourself in a situation where your town's destroyed because of riots. I'm not taking a stance about racial matters here because, as I said in the last video, I don't know. I don't know the facts. It, depending on if you, le if you read a left-wing or a right-wing right -wing site, doesn't matter. Uh, you get different statistics. They're all bent to fit a narrative. So I'm going to stay agnostic and focus on the individual. I don't like group think. I don't like tribal culture. So I think, yes, from what I've seen, individuals have been harmed, uh, not just by police, but by rioters and police have been harmed as well. So individuals have been harmed. And that's the position I'm speaking from with today's uh, podcast. So you wake up, you find yourself in this situation where your city's trashed. Uh, for whatever reason, to no fault of your own, you're in this spot. You're in this nightmare. What do you do? How do you rebuild? Or let's just say you've always lived in the ghetto. It doesn't matter if it's a rural ghetto or an inner city ghetto. You've just lived in a decrepit area. What do you do? How do you rebuild? Now, I've never built societies, so I'm not going to you know, speak on how to build societies. But I grew up in a very, very poor part of the world. This is the farms of rural eastern North Carolina, where pig is the uh, the economy. And there's about one or two employers. And if you don't get a job there, you're stuck at a gas station or a movie theater. Uh, the average income for eastern North Carol eastern rural North Carolina is lower than the average of uh, the, the standard of the United States. So that is always where I go back to because I did get out of there. I did build build myself out from there. Now, I uh, also did not grow up with a high school diploma. So if we're talking about oppression Olympics, which seems to be pretty popular here, anybody with a high school diploma um, that can string together a subject and a predicate, I didn't even know what that was until I was an adult. So you have more advantages than I had. Um, in terms of education or formal education. So I know I'm a white male, but in the string of the Oppression Olympics, n growing up without going to, to school has to give me somewhere in the realm of, uh, of, of, of a gold or a bronze medal uh, for, for, for challenges overcome. I'm being facetious there, but still, uh, you know what I'm saying. There were some challenges uh, being being uneducated that I, I, I rose out of those and I had things uh, with me. So that disclaimer out of the way, I'm going to just read a, read a little story um, called The Privilege of Geography. Gary, Indiana is a city just south of Chicago. And as of writing... This city has the highest violent crime rate in the state. The average income is half that of the national average income in the U.S. The city is filled to the rim of vacant, dangerous buildings. But just 17 minutes or 12 miles west sits wonderfully prosperous Munster, Indiana, with the average income much higher than the national average. The streets are packed with businesses, opportunities, uh, with businesses slash opportunities of all education levels and the crime rate is significantly lower. Now I have to ask you the question, if you live in Gary, Indiana, why the hell would you stay there? I wouldn't. And I would make the argument, being poor in Munster is probably still better than, still a better life than being prosperous in Gary. Now I have nothing against Gary, Indiana, and I am not saying anything negative about the people there. I have not successfully saved the city from poverty, so I won't prescribe an antidote for the locals other than a recommendation of a mass exodus. What was it? The Jews walked for 40, 40 years? Surely an individual can walk 12 miles. <clears throat> and this is what I'm talking about. Um, escaping poverty is something I can speak on due to my experience. Being poor is largely a mindset. Largely. Living a debility 
debilitating lifestyle and only knowing a life of the pain caused by said lifestyle subjects ones to a hardened silo of chaotic ignorance. Perspective can change your outlook, thus opportunities. If you live in a fiscally desolate economic war zone type city here in the States, there is a world outside your zip code just waiting for you to be great. Even if the great is the same fast food job just located in a safer neighborhood. Sure, you could stay where you are and try to make it better. There is merit to that. But how can one cause change if they aren't an example of success? Go where the odds are in your favor and the risk of nihilism is reduced. So, you know, that's, that's all I'm saying is first become successful yourself by any legal means necessary, then cause change from the position of authority. And I'm not saying that wealth is a sign of success. You can you can use your own metrics. Uh, but geography can really hold you back. Uh, and that is what my recommendation is for anybody who finds themselves in a city that's just torn to shreds, whether it be from riots or in the case of Gary, Indiana, my entire life, that place has been desolate. And, and I actually know a few people from Gary, Indiana, and they're great individuals. Uh, so again, I don't think in terms of groups or tribes, I look at people as individuals. So I'm sure there's a lot of sweet, nice folks there that are just suffering due to the conditions of that city. Why not move? Why not go somewhere else? That's what, I mean, that's what I would do. That's what I've done. That's what I've continued to do. I've moved uh, to many different cities three hours away one time to, to better my economic condition. Uh, it was a job with, gave me great experience. And I came back, back to my hometown with that experience that I couldn't get staying where I stayed. So that's all I have for today. Uh, if you've got any comments um, on, on why this wouldn't work, what, what am I missing here? I'm always open for discussion. As always, you guys have a good one.